like with many immigrant and communities of color, there was systematic discrimination against people of Chinese descent. The very racist and xenophobic 1882 Chinese Exclusion Act only allowed for a few hundred male merchants to come to the U.S. from China. The only Chinese women who were allowed to come were the merchants' wives. My family story is not unique, but it is pretty much a first-hand testimonial of the history of this racial discrimination. My great-grandfather came in the late 1800s to Reno, Nevada, working on the Central Pacific Railroads or silver mines. White laborers literally came with crowbars to destroy the small Chinatown they had built, chasing and beating them away because they deemed Chinatown, quote unquote, a physical and moral threat. My great grandfather couldn't build roots in the States, so he went back to China. My grandfather came in the late 1920s buying false papers that showed he had blood relatives in the States. They were often called paper sons. He owned and operated small family owned Chinese hand laundries, one of the only industries that Chinese could actually work in because of the rampant discrimination. 